this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to speak about uh, altitude correction of moon. Let us select a date, say for example, 12th October 92 at 0600 GMT. We have taken the altitude of upper limb of moon. So we are talking about 12th October 92 0600 GMT. 43 degrees 12 minutes was the sextant altitude and let us say the index error was 1 minute on the arc on means negative so it becomes 11 minute 43 degrees 11 minute observed altitude then say height of I was say 10 meters for which if you see Albanek the dip correction would be 5.6 dip is always negative you have seen Dip is because of the height of I, this is a visible horizon and this is sensible horizon, this angle is dip, always negative. Because uh, from an altitude that you have taken, that is observed altitude, you must minus dip to get apparent altitude. So apparent altitude is 43 degrees 5.4 minutes. For this altitude reflection, it's say one minute. Once again, always subtractive because reflection has got tendency to elevate the body. You look at the coin in the water, it appears elevated. You look at the fish in the water, it appears elevated. You look at the heavenly bodies, they would appear elevated from their usual position. So refraction is always negative. It makes 4.4 minutes, 43 degrees. Now semi diameter. When we talk about semi diameter, and the body is worn, we need to talk about augmentation of semi diameter. What is augmentation? Augmentation is increase. Like we say, augmentation of wages. Augmentation means increase. Although we have taken upper limb, which would be subtractive in altitude correction, but augmentation by the meaning means increase. So augmentation is always positive. But why do we do augmentation? For that, let us understand. Uh, this example, there is this aircraft or say a helicopter flying, you see the aircraft at the horizon and the aircraft approaches you. Uh, the aircraft is maintaining the constant altitude but when you spotted the aircraft at near the horizon you found the aircraft to be small and when it flew past your head you found the aircraft to be big. Something like that happens to the moon. The radius of the earth is quite sizable in comparison to the distance of moon from the center of the earth. Now, the semi diameter of the moon which is given is given as you would see from the center of the earth, right? So this is the SD1 is the semi diameter as is seen from the center of the earth. Now here the moon is on sensible horizon and the distance of observer to the moon is more or less same, not much different as compared to this distance. So semi diameter as would be measured at sensible horizon is more or less equal to SD1 which is given in the almanac. But when the moon rises in altitude, you see the distance has decreased. So semi diameter as would be measured when the moon is in altitude would be more than semi diameter that is indicated in the almanac because the semi diameter is inversely proportional to the distance right so this semi diameter I would call SD2 SD2 is more than SD1 and the difference is called augmentation of moon semi diameter semi diameter for every day is given at the bottom of uh, the daily page of nautical almanac Suppose this semi diameter as you read from the almanac is 15.1, 15.1 plus augmentation, augmentation of semi diameter, the table is given in knowledge table close to something like uh, 450, page 456 or so. So if you see the augmentation, you will find the augmentation to be about 0.2. So augmented semi diameter is 15.3. But because we had taken upper limb, this correction would be negative. I get 43 degrees 49.1 minute as 
the altitude corrected for augmented semi diameter. Now, next correction is horizontal parallax. What is this horizontal parallax correction? What do you understand by horizontal parallax? Now, in the same diagram that I have drawn here, the same diagram that I have drawn here, when the moon is at sensible horizon, When the moon is at sensible horizon, the parallax that is observed or the parallax that exists is called horizontal parallax. Now, uh, what is parallax basically? Uh, we will uh, probably see that in a little more detail in my another session talking about horizontal parallax or parallax in altitude. But at the moment, just understand the parallax in altitude is the angle made at the center of the body by radius of the earth through the observer. Observer is here, so radius of the earth through the observer is this. And that angle there is horizontal parallax. But horizontal parallax that is given in the nautical almanac for every hour, every GMT hour, gives you the horizontal parallax for the observer who is at equator who's at the equator. So, there is an observer at equator. This particular angle is horizontal parallax that is given in the almanac. But I may not be taking observation from equator. I might be taking observation from the pole. This is exaggerated oblate spheroid diagram of the earth. right? So, I might be taking observation from the pole. In which case, the horizontal parallax angle is smaller than what is given in the harmonic. So, if I am taking from, if I am taking observation from some intermediate latitude, the horizontal parallax would be less than the HP that is given in the nautical element. Okay, I need to reduce the HP that is given for every GMT hour and for that I need to look at a table called reduction table. Once again, it is around 456 or 458 of Norris table. Reduction in case of latitudes close to equator is a very small. Now, in this particular case, if you see the horizontal parallax at GMT hour on that day, you will find it is 55.4. But the reduction that you get from the table is negligible. So, I will write the horizontal parallax, and I will assume the horizontal parallax as it is 55.4, but in the altitude correction table, I will have to put parallax in altitude, and parallax in altitude is horizontal parallax multiplied by cos of apparent altitude. And if you multiply a horizontal parallax with cos of apparent altitude, you will get something like 40.45. Remember, reduction is always subtractive that we did for horizontal parallax, but parallax in altitude is always positive. So that is forty-four degrees twenty-nine point five five. So, uh, friends, this was the altitude correction of moon. When we correct the altitude of moon by individual corrections. Now, when we are doing the site calculation and a candidate is not specifically asked to do the individual correction, show the individual correction, we might uh, look at the main correction table, right, where you have just the main correction in the upper part and you follow the column and in the lower part you have additional correction which is given with the argument as uh, horizontal parallax and uh, also the argument as upper limb or lower limb. But tables are basically aimed to give you the final correction taking you to the center of moon assuming that you have taken lower limb. The distance between the lower limb and upper limb is assumed to be 30 minutes. So in case by chance an observer has taken upper limb, the tables will give you the wrong answer by an error of 30 minutes. So in case you have taken lower limb, the tables are made considering that you would take lower limb and after main and addition of a correction, you don't have to do anything. But in case you have taken upper limb, then your final answer needs to be subtracted by 30 minutes 
to get to the correct answer. So, uh, so initial corrections, we proceed as usual, section to altitude, 43 degrees, 12 minutes, index error, 1 minute on the arc, so makes it 11, 43 degrees, 11, minus 5.6, that is a dip correction, makes it apparent, or makes apparent altitude 43 degrees, 5.4 minutes. Everything else is taken care of by the table, so when you enter the tables, you will find that in the appropriate column, the correction is 51.75. This is an additive correction. Now, you follow the column, come down to the lower part of the column, and with an argument as horizontal parallax and upper limb, you'll find that additional correction is 2.6. So when we add up the main correction and the additional correction, I get 43 degrees, 59.75. But originally, initially, you had taken upper limb, so you need to subtract for the given reason, for the reason that I told you. Uh, you have taken a limb which was out by 30 minutes compared to the lower limb. So you need to subtract 30 minutes and the final corrected altitude would be 43 degrees, 29.75. There is a very small difference between the two. This is the individual correction method and this is the total correction method. I hope you enjoyed this class of altitude correction of more.